Okay, in this one we're going to take pictures and cut them out as a shape. I'm starting out with my blank canvas. I've blood filled it black so we can see what I'm doing. We'll come over and put the foreground and stroke properties at white so we can see what we and the rectangle. I'm going to put no color in the uh, in the fill in the background. Sorry. Come over to your preset shapes. Select rectangle. I leave the width at either one or two. It is up to you. I do it at two so you can see what you're doing a little bit easier. Come down to your canvas. Draw out your rectangle as big as you want, wide as you want. Then I go up to your pick tool and I position the rectangle however I'd like. I'm going to turn it to the side and stretch it down just a bit so that the ends of it are hanging off the side. I don't want those lines to show with my picture. So as you see I've just got two lines on each side. From there I convert the vector into a raster layer. Go to the picture that you'd like to copy. Control C. Go back to your canvas. Control L. You want your picture underneath the rectangle. Position the picture how you want it so that what you want inside of the rectangular is what is going to stay. Go to the raster layer that has the rectangle. Click on your magic wand. Select inside your rectangle. As you notice, the marching ants are on the inside of the white lines. Select back onto your raster with the picture. Selections, modify, expand. The same amount that you did your uh, line for your line width of the rectangle. I did two, so number of pixels will be two. Okay. Selections, invert, and delete. From there, you'll just do select and select none. You can click the rectangle off if you'd like, leaving no border, or you can turn the border on and leave it on. And you're done.